yeah hello and hi uh, in this lecture we are going to learn the program number two state cert write a program which uh, generates 100 random numbers in the range of 1 to 100 and we are required to store them in an array and then print the array and also we have that stating that write three versions of the program using different loop constructs so we have to uh, write the same content using looping statements we have three loops that is for while and do while c provides us something else known as rand function okay r a and d rand so it is going to generate this is the basic prototype of the random function the random function is going to generate an integer value one single integer value whose whose range is going to be from 0 to the random max the general random max value is going to be maximum value is going to be 3 to 7 6 7 so one of the values is going to be generated however for our program we need the random value to be generated only from 1 to 100 so we so whatever the value that random function is going to generate it should be from 1 to 100 so let us start writing the program now we need to generate a, a list of 100 values so i'm considering an array a, a whose maximum range of 100 i'm writing a comment line stating that implementation using the for loop so first and the foremost we have to generate uh, 100 values so i'm using a for loop st stating that for i is equal to 0 to i less than 100 and i plus plus so 100 values are going to be iterated so i is a value that i am going to consider integer i now i'm going to use a function name known as rand rand so rand is going to generate one value and I want to store the generated value into a variable known as x. So let us declare the variable x. Now the value that has been generated and stored in x should be greater than 1, should be greater than 0 and should be less than or equal to 100. So I have to check whether if the x value is greater than 0 and it should be and the x value should be less than or equal to 100. So that is these are the value that is from 1 to 100. This is a value we have to consider. If it is a value between these 0 and 100, then we can store it into the list. So the list of i is to be stored with x value. So the list is going to be incremented. In case if the x va in case if the value generated that is x is not in between 0 and 100, we have to move back decrementing the decrementing the i value that is i minus minus so that we go back and again check for the next value. So this loop is going to useful for the generation of all the 100 values. Now it is the time to print all the values. So print of slash in list of all the 100 random values. So I'm going to use in order to print them. I'm using the loop again because we have 100 values to be printed. So again from i is equal to 0, i less than 100 and i plus plus. Now it's time to print the values. So printf, I'm using percentile d, a couple of spaces, comma. We need to print the list of elements, so list of i. Hope we are done with the program writing. Let us check uh, the execution of the code. Press F9. And you can see the list of all the 100 values has been generated. So, uh, so, so far we have done the entire program with using for loop. He has asked that uh, we need to implement uh, even using the using the while and do while other looping statements so i'm copying the code we shall modify the code replacing with the different looping statements so so far we have done with the for loop now we are going to go with the while while is going to have this initial statement that is i is equal to zero in the previous statement itself it is i equal to zero and here it's while and only the condition should be there and the iteration part should be inside the loop that should be in the last statement that is i plus plus so let us print the values the same thing has to be repeated i plus plus we are done you can see the list of the values generated for the first hundred values from using the for loop the next one is using the while loop and even this could be re-executed even with the do while statement that so the while should go to the end end part cut this one do and here it's going to be while and every do while statement should end with a semicolon if we are done with this i'm pressing f9 once again 
so you can see all the respective values has been generated using the first one with the for loop next one is the while loop and the next one is the do value hope you have understood thank you for watching my videos please subscribe for more video lectures thank you